Thanks for watching our video. My name is Ben and I'm here at Barry Brown and Sons in Pakenham, Victoria. I'm standing in our test area at the moment to show you one of our latest tanks that's arrived. Uh, we use this test area for all of our new tanks and water chillers uh, and we run them through their paces before they go out to our customers. Uh, this particular tank is a 500 litre Italian made batch pasteuriser and it's about to go out to one of our customers in New South Wales. One of the features of this tank is a programmable controller. This controller has the ability to store 10 individual recipes that can be pre-programmed in. So all you need to do is select the different recipes you want for the different products that you're making, whether it be cheese, yogurt, or just pasteurizing milk or other products. Our controller has the ability to record all of the temperature information, time and temperature, to a USB stick, which plugs in under the controller here. Uh, the controller will run all of the features of the tank including the heating system, uh, the cooling system and the agitation. There are a number of heating options available with this tank. In this case, this particular tank has four 7000 watt electric elements that are submerged in a Bay Marie style jacket underneath the tank. Uh, the other options available include steam, or hot water if you have those available. The cooling system on this tank features two separate jackets. The first being suitable for ambient temperature water. This jacket will cool the tank down from the initial pasteurising temperature to around 30 or 40 degrees, ideal for cheese or yoghurt making. If you require further cooling, say to 4 degrees for bottled milk, the second jacket is used which is connected up to a glycol chiller like this Italian made Emicon unit that we supply and then cools the milk down ready for bottling. The mixer on the tank is run by the electronic controller. There is options available for variable speed to be added or a cheese cutting blade if required. The program that we're running at the moment on the tank is for pasteurising milk. So the milk will enter the tank at 4 degrees from the milk storage tank. It will then be heated up to 65 and a half degrees and held for 30 minutes. After that, it will switch over to the initial stage of cooling from uh, the external ambient temperature water source. Once it's cooled down to about 25 degrees, it will then switch over to the glycol chiller, which will then bring the milk down to 4 degrees before the milk exits the tank off to the customer's bottling machine.